What's up, everybody? This is Ken. Did get a package from uh, Basinor uh, to review the Tesla Model 3 and Y mud flaps. These are the mud flaps right here. And you get all four. I think on the Tesla website, you only get two when you buy them, if I'm not mistaken. And then you have your clips and all of these things that they provide to you. And then you have your insulation guide as well. These are pretty important. You know, Teslas are kind of low to the ground. And if you don't have some sort of PPF protection, your tires can make rocks, hit your paint, uh, salt, snow, depending on the type of weather that you're in. But let's go ahead, turn my wheel so I can have good access so I can do the front for you, clean it really quick, and then maybe install one of them. Two holes, one right here, one right here. I don't think anything goes right here, but right here, I don't really know in this kit. A lot of kits are different. And then up here, there's another hole that you can drill a hole in if you want. If it's, you know, loose at the top, which I'm pretty sure it will be loose in the top, but I'm not going to worry about it in this video. I just wanted you to see kind of how this looks. But I did get the front left, which it says FL. And I think I got the right things. This clip, and I think this goes with it. These did not have any clips in there. And from a lot of videos I've seen in the past, you have to remove those clips that came with the car. And I guess that was just a defect in the factory. I have no clips, so I'll have to check the passenger side as well. Got this one down here in. Then I want to see if I can just go ahead and put that clip in the other one so it can just stay on there where I can get the screw in. So that lets me know I got it lined up there. I have those two clips looking good, so I'll go ahead and get those screwed in and then I'll be right back. Both of them are in now. And then I'm going to take this little thing right here and there is a groove where you put it in so it can attach. It does move at the top. Right up here. So I'll definitely have to probably get a drill. There's one more hole up there like I showed you earlier right there. And that will pretty much secure this. But it's on here really nicely. It does match really well. It looks really good. Okay. So now I'm going to do the back. The back should be fairly simple. And then we'll just look at it all together. This is for the rear left, I'm on the left side. This one is easier, it doesn't have anything like at the top here. So it should fit really well without any kind of drilling. It only has one spot that I have to do. Now, underneath here, and I'll show you right underneath here, there are two screws, but you have to remove the one that's further to here, that's closer to here, show you right there. All I'm gonna do here is you see that screw right there, I'm going to remove that screw. These right here that I'm going to replace it with. And once I get the mud flap on, I'm going to reapply this screw right here. This original screw. Be right back. It is going to move, but that's okay. 